Surge, deploying front-end applications to the web. It's never been easier, so let me show you how it's done. So here on our desktop, I've got a, a directory, and it's a web project. What's inside it is an index.html file, which is our minimum viable web project, and we're going to deploy this to the web. So we're going to start by opening up our terminal, and we're going to cd to the project. And to deploy it, we simply type surge into our command line. It's going to prompt us for an, uh, to create an account. So this is so that only we can redeploy to the domain that we choose. So we'll put in an email, choose a password, and now it's going to com confirm the directory we want to deploy, which is desktop Vancouver, which is correct. We've got one file, which is 26 bytes long and it's going to give us a suggestion on a domain. But we're going to take vancouver.surge.sh and it's uploaded, it's propagated on the CDN. It tells me who, which users can deploy and um, which is currently only me and um, the IP address that our machine is located at. So let's open this up and have a look and there we have it. Hello Vancouver. And let's uh, edit this document and redeploy it. So we're going to want to open up our project in your favorite text editor. I'll use Sublime in this case. And here we have Hello Vancouver document. So let's just add uh, another line. So we'll just say best place on earth. This is our tagline. And when we come back, um, we can redeploy just using search. Now naturally we're going to want to redeploy to the same domain. So one way we can do that is we just pass in vancouver.surge.sh into the command line. Or we can write this to a CNAME file. Which if we go back to our text editor, now we have a CNAME file in our root that says vancouver.surge.sh. And once that's there, we just type surge. We're already authenticated, so we don't need to do that again. We're going to confirm the directory as Vancouver. And it's uploaded, it's propagated on the CDN. And we can now revisit it. And there we have it. So that's deploying to the surge platform and redeploying with a CNAME file to go to the same domain.